in the category of medicine and health. Uh, that's like the big thing. You kind of have that status of being in like the group. The success that you're getting now, how is it and in what way is it overwhelming for you both? <laughs> well, I don't think anyone is more surprised by uh, how this film has been embraced than we are. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, we basically filmed this thing with a crew of three. Uh, and Us and Peter Holton, our <laughs> yeah. DP, is basically our, our crew. Um, and, and, you know, then everybody we brought on, you know, since then has just really embraced the project as well and poured their passion into it. Um, so on so many levels, I think we're just like super grateful. Um, it is overwhelming sometimes, but um, for all the best reasons. I mean, you know, we get to share these kids that we've spent so much time with, uh, yeah. with the world, and you know, they deserve to be celebrated the way they are. So yeah, yeah, they're amazing and and funny and fun and and it's amazing that other people are responding it to it too. Because you know, you have an idea in your head, and, and most of the time, it doesn't work like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, so which leads me to the next question: How the film ended was put together, and then the end of it when you watched it. For the first time, we were like, this is nothing that we imagined? Or was it exactly on point like what you imagined? Well, I would say that the vision of the film, the initial vision that we had, is actually pretty close to what happened. And, and, and you know, we wanted underdogs, we wanted rating champions, we wanted people yeah. who had to come a long way and overcome a lot. Um, so, and structurally, it's almost identical to the initial plan. That's great. But when we watch it, I think we don't, I don't, it, it, we see all the problems with it still as filmmakers, <laughs> you're never yeah. gonna like love the thing you've made totally because yeah. you see all the seams and all the mm, mistakes. Yeah. But, um, but it's been incredible to see that other people are reacting to the vision that we had. Yeah. Yeah. We also didn't have a whole lot of time to, you know, <laughs> think about it at the end. We, you know, we were racing to make the Sundance deadline, so we edited the, the, the whole entire film in uh, three months with uh, with two amazing editors working yeah. side by side around the clock. Um, and then, like a week before the deadline, we watched it, the first cut uh, for the first time. And you know, it definitely, a lot the, of work. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, the, it needed a lot of work. But um, you know, we we saw the, that it was going to come together, and we were pretty confident that you know it was going to hit the notes thanks to the amazing team, including Jeff Tom Plunkett, Maroney. our producer, Tom Maroney, our oh. editor, Alejandro valdez Rashin, our other editor. Um, so it's, you know. Jen like, Wood, of Jen course. Wood, oh my God, <laughs> who kept it all together. So, um, you know, every film is a team effort. And I think the reason why the film, you know, sings is because so many people lent their, their hand to it. Yeah. Now, as far as your educations in college, mm -hmm. can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so because I won science fair in high school, right. as I competed, I got into to Yale, which it totally changed my life. And so I always say science fair was like the first thing. I, I wouldn't be here definitely mm -hmm. not, with, if it weren't for science fair. But I studied journalism, okay. and I wanted to be a journalist in large part because I saw his documentaries that he was making uh, with his amazing wife, Mariana von Zeller, who's mm -hmm. a really incredible correspondent who speaks five languages and is totally amazing and so you're like I'm not worthy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I watched their stuff and I wanted to become a journalist and then uh, I did and yeah, that's my that's my story. <laughs> Great. Um well, you know, I, I was a science kid too. I did not participate at science fair at nearly the level that Christina participated mm -hmm. in. But, you know, I pursued science in college. I was a bio major. I thought I was going to become a doctor. But then I discovered, you know, storytelling, uh, mm -hmm. TV, film, and journalism. Uh, and then I went to Columbia to get my master's in journalism. Uh, and started out thinking I was going to be a, you know, a, a print reporter. Uh, until I met my wife, who also turned me on to <laughs> the visual medium. Uh, and yeah, so we have my wife to thank for a lot uh, yeah. so, of so this I, film. So <laughs> totally. the next question is about mentors. So I, yeah. I, I kind of feel like mm -hmm. your wife was your mentor. For sure. And he was your mentor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Mariana was my mentor. So Mariana was both of our mentors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah for sure. Do you, do you feel mentors are an important part of your success? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this movie was, yeah. I learned so much from this one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you know, mentors are so important.
important and to have people, especially at this time, working at the local level like a Dr. McCalla, who are really champions of science is so important uh, because at the national level, um, you just don't see that kind of leadership in science anymore. Um, you know, we're living at a time when science is undermined and questioned for nothing but political gain. Um, that you know, we really need people like Dr. McCall in the world to be celebrated because um, you know she's really the one that's you know setting the tone for how we should be thinking about science. Uh, yeah, and I also think in our movie we wanted to show a few different models of mentorship right. and um, Coach Schmidt. <laughs> Yeah. And Coach Schmidt from South Dakota, he, you know, he's Kashvia's mentor, and you see very clearly that he knows nothing about science. He does has no idea. Unlike Dr. McCullough, who is an expert on almost everything, right. <laughs> uh, she, he doesn't know anything. But he's just supportive, and he does everything he can to make sure that she is um, succeeding. And so mentorship doesn't. You don't have to be an expert. You just have to be there for them um, and so we love Coach Schmidt for that reason he's, he's amazing. I've got to tell you that was it was so well done <laughs> when you paired the both of them <laughs> total different contrast. Um, <clears throat> last question what advice would you give to college students who want to get to where you are right now and develop a film that will be one of those DVDs that you put in your shelf that you share with your kids and you share with your aunts and your uncles and siblings and everybody else, you know, what advice would you give to that college student? You know, you know, for me, I've always just tried to work on projects that I really care about and I'm passionate about. And, you know, sometimes those ideas even come in surprising ways. Like if you would have asked me five years ago, would I be, you know, directing a document <laughs> about the science fair? I would say Thank no, <laughs> probably not. But, you know, you, uh, I've been fortunate in my career to work with really amazing people, including Christina. And like, I would just say, work on things that you're passionate about, work with people that you really like, mm -hmm. um, because all these stories take so long to put together that you know the energy that's in the room when you're crafting it goes into the project. And so if that's a negative energy, the result is probably not as gonna be as good as, the, you know, as a project like this where everybody was just really um, just doing their part. And uh, so I would say just like work with good people, work on projects you care about, and don't worry about like where they wind up. I've spent my whole career doing things that never achieved this level of <laughs> recognition, but you know, um, I'm proud of everything I've done, so. Brilliant, thank yeah. you. And I would say um, that to always, you know, to, to, to not be scared to ask questions and to not be scared to seek out the people whose work you really respect. Um, I did it and oh, it worked out. <laughs> and, and can you tell me how you did that? Did you jump, how'd you get the nerve and I'm gonna call this guy? Uh, so, so Darren's wife Mariana and I worked at the same network because okay. I was such a fangirl that I <laughs> kept pestering my b bosses to hire her. And then eventually I got lucky and because she's so brilliant, it was very, you know, everybody took one look at her work and was like, yeah, what is this woman doing? And she just had, you know, some free time and so we worked on two documentaries together and one of them um, Darren and I co-produced and so that's how we started working together um, but yeah it's uh, it's it's been amazing and so I, I would say seek out the people that you think are great and ask them a lot of questions and don't be scared to ask questions because that's the only way to learn thank you both so much <laughs> thank, thank you, you. Really appreciate time. Thank, thank you thank you so much <laughs> thank you change your life in ways that you don't even comprehend. Welcome to Los Angeles! Today's like the judging day, so we're gonna get judged for what, like six hours today? I don't know.